Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be painting some camo cloaks on some Space Marine Eliminators from start to finish. But first of all I want to say a huge thank you to my YouTube channel sponsors Goblin Gaming. Also, uh, this video is going to be a short video just concentrating on how to paint camo cloaks. I uploaded some pictures on my Facebook page and I got such great uh, response from the camo cloaks I thought I'd do a tutorial on them so um, go get comfortable grab yourselves a nice hot drink or maybe an ice cold beer and we'll get started with the tutorial I start off by priming the miniature using Alclad 2's lacquer primer white it's very important that you need to be well ventilated if you're using this primer and also wearing a respirator. I'm priming the miniature at about 20 psi here and as you can see I'm getting a nice smooth even coverage and we're laying down that primer nice and thin. I add some Games Workshop Sandry Dust into my airbrush cup and I thin it down with some Vallejo Acrylic Airbrush Thinner. You can use any airbrush thinner, uh, acrylic thinner or you can use water. But as you can see the Sandry Dust is spraying nice and smoothly out of the airbrush and I'm able to paint those cloaks nice and easily. Here you can see an art tool Nano FX texture template that was kindly sent to me by airbrushes.com. This is going to be the key cornerstone of getting down that amazing looking camo texture on the miniature. We're going to be using Vallejo Game Air Goblin Green to lay down the first part of the camo texture. As you can see, I'm laying down the Art Tool FX template and we're going or aiming for, I should say, the medium size holes in the template and I'm laying that green down onto the camo cloak. Don't worry if it's not completely flat to the miniature as a nice feathered edge will look more realistic than a really strong um, sharp edge so if it's a little bit um, a short distance away from the miniature as you're spraying that's absolutely fine and that will look even better than it being very very close to the miniature Again, I'm illustrating here using the medium sized textured patterns on the Art Tool FX template. And we're just placing that green down. And as you can see, instantly we've got a really nice camouflage effect coming on that cloak.
Now we're going to start laying down some black paint and some black textures. I'm using Vallejo Game Air Black here, but you can use any acrylic back paint you have. As you can see, I'm using the very, very fine um, textured holes on the Art Tool FX template, and it's giving me some really nice camouflage patterns. Now we're going to apply Citadel Shade Seraphine Sepia to the cloaks. This is going to tie everything together and make some really nice shading on the cloaks. And here you can see the finished camo cloaks. I know this has only been a small uh, tutorial guys and it's not a full start to finish tutorial. But nevertheless, I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have, please hit the like button. Uh, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the camo cloaks. And thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I'll catch you in the next one.